everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grund, my Director of Public and Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana. Thank you so much for tuning into our show. In this segment, talk to about, or proud to talk about a great organization that's been doing so much good in our community, and that is Daughters of Charity Services of New Orleans. And here to talk about that, as well as an upcoming health fair in the Bywater area, I'm happy to have uh, Michael Griffin, who is the President and CEO of Daughters of Charity Services of New Orleans, and also a pediatrician in the area, Dr. Denise Woodall Ruff. Thank you both for coming by Thank today. You, Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, I was just talking to you, Michael, before we started the set, and was just fascinated to learn uh, a little bit about the Daughters of Charity and the great work that they're doing in the New Orleans area and have been doing for quite some time, have they not? Yes. Uh, we've been in this market. Um, Daughters of Charity has been here providing health care services for over 175 wow. years. Wow. And we provide high quality health care, uh, compa compassionate health care for all members of our community, including the insured and uh, uninsured. Uh, we have three state-of-the-art health centers, uh, one in Bywater, one in, on Carrollton Avenue, and in Metairie. Uh, and each one of those locations um, provide uh, care for um, chronically ill patients, mm -hmm. asthmatics, uh, people with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and uh, depression. Uh, we have behavioral health services, uh, prenatal care, pediatric care, uh, optometry, dental, pharmacy services, all at these locations. Uh, Daughters of Charity is a part of a national health system, Ascension Health, which is the largest nonprofit and Catholic health Catholic, system in yeah. the country. And um, we're here today again to talk about uh, free, a free, and I want to stress free, uh, free health fair yeah. that's coming up on October 22nd for the community. And let everybody know about uh, everybody at home, uh, it's going to be on Saturday, October 22nd in the Bywater area at a wonderful location, St. Cecilia Health Center, located at 1030. Uh, Good now, how you pronounce that Lesseps. word? Lesseps, uh, yes. Lesseps Street in New Orleans, and it's going to be a fantastic uh, free health fair uh, for residents uh, again Saturday, October 22nd. Tell me a little bit about the approach, Michael, and more so why the importance of having a health fair. Well, the importance of having a health fair is to get people, uh, well, to get people engaged, get them out of, of course, their normal routine and come to uh, understand what services that we actually provide and have. Uh, get them used to this location that's in their community. You know, a lot of people actually live in that neighborhood and community and don't know we're actually oh, there. Yeah. Uh, so we uh, we uh, have these health fairs and free services. We're going to have flu shots, uh, pr uh, pregnancy tests, free dental and vision screenings. We we just opened our optometry center at the Carrollton location, but we're going to be fixing eyeglasses or repairing glasses free of charge. Um, we're going to do prescription assessments. We're going to have uh, uh, clinical pharmacists there looking at medications, asthma education. But we want to, this is a sample of the type of services that we provide on a day-to-day -day basis at our health centers, high quality services. The, the, I guess the most important thing is healthy living for uh, adults and of course for younger children. You'll also be uh, providing information on, about these free screenings on site as well. Is that my understanding? Correct. Well, yeah. we, we, we actually have, um, we'll be providing um, uh, information about our health care services that we provide again Excellent. on a day-to-day -day basis within our health centers uh, and we also have other things at the health fair. So there's entertainment, there's food, there's giveaways and other things uh, for uh, the community but mainly the free screenings. It's amazing actually when you, we've done numerous health fairs and um, it, it never fails that we find someone with out-of-control mm -hmm. hypertension or diabetic that we actually actually have just a simple screening, just a simple screening, and they come in for our services. Well, one of the things which uh, which brought uh, Dr. Denise uh, Woodall Ruff, uh, who's a pediatrician in the area, uh, is an amazing organization. Heads off, uh, head, head off environmental asthma in Louisiana. It's a nice program, I think, and it'll be a part of this fair as well. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So the Heal Project, the uh, Head Off uh, Environmental Asthma in Louisiana, it's a four-year project, and we are in collaboration with Xavier University, nice. Daughters of Charity, and Children. Health Fund, and what we're doing is working together to provide families um, with children of asthma um, uh, quality care and asthma. Now, what happens is that we are using the expert pediatric asthma guidelines, and so we're using those guidelines to kind of help bring those um, uh, those ideas and strategies to the families. Mm. And what's unique about this program is that we use asthma educators, and asthma educators in the literature uh, research says that uh, these children that and families that come into contact with asthma educators have decreased mm. um, emergency room visits, they have um, improved asthma care and control of their asthma, and uh, these um, asthma educators can work uh, really closely with the families to develop an asthma action plan. 
that's unique for that patient or for that child. And my understanding, this is the second phase, correct? Exa that you, exactly. What was phase one? The phase one was more so uh, kind of like a, a trial to, to see if uh, the asthma educators uh, made uh, impact or oh, benefited gotcha. uh, in general and here in, in, Louisiana, in yes. New Orleans. And so this is the next step to incorporate it into an actual practice office setting in the community. And this, um, this, this type of documented approach, right, yes. will it uh, kind of help deliver the care and the community health that is necessary? Oh, absolutely, because the children who are going to be receiving this care are children that come to our health centers. Right. And so, um, so yes, this will definitely help to kind of give access to that care. Michael, this kind of collaboration is essential because, you know, these, these fairs are, are should be, and, and you guys do a phenomenal job, making a one-stop shop for families. I mean, health care is a challenge enough, but you guys basically are bringing the information, the resources to them and helping them out to help them understand uh, the, uh, the variety of complexities of whatever health matters or issues that people are dealing with in a very convenient way. And this has been very successful in the past. The HEAL2 project is a great example of empowering patients and empowering individuals in our community. So we're educating families nice. on as, asthma, asthmatic conditions with kids. Uh, but it's a great example of what we do at our medical homes. And that's what we call them, medical homes, uh, daughters of charity locations. Uh, as you said, one-stop shop. Uh, conveniently located in communities and neighborhoods. Uh, and our goal is to keep you out of the hospital. Absolutely. We want to better the yes. health condition and health status of our communities. Excellent. Well, let's remind everybody, put the information up on the screen so everybody can see it. It's the Daughters of Charity Health Services Health Fair uh, taking place on Saturday, October the 22nd, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with the 1030, 1030 uh, Heal 2 Project press conference taking place 30 minutes before the actual fair begins. Again, the fair 11 to 2. It's uh, in the Bywater at St. Cecilia Health Center located located at 1030 Lissap Street in New Orleans, uh, easy to get to. Uh, if there's information, someone is looking to maybe check out a website, anything, Michael, you can direct them to, or is there any information out there on, online or maybe a phone number someone could call? Uh, www.dcsno.org okay. is our website. Excellent. And our main line is Erico 504-207-3060. Excellent. Uh, real quick, um, if I can ask you, Dr. Denise, the program enrolls what age groups are we talking, just so our Ages audience knows? Ages 2 to two, 18 years old. And why that? Those are the ages that uh, asthma, that we see mm. asthma, uh, and it's diagnosed, and, okay. we have, and we can kind of identify. So those are the ones that you want to make. And let's yeah. make sure we want to give our props out to those mm -hmm. who uh, pro fo fund the program to make it necessary, if you would like to do that as well. Oh, yes, absolutely. This is uh, MCAM, which is the Merck, uh, it's a Merck network, Children's Asthma yeah. Network. Thanks to yes. those guys for making this as well because mm -hmm. those fundings are really crucial to make a difference yes. uh, and, and more so to make fairs like this possible. And congratulations on the success of the HEAL program as well as Michael for the continued success Daughters of Charity Services of New Orleans continues to have 175 great years they had in the greater New Orleans area. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated, much appreciate your time coming by today and encourage everyone to go out to the fair on October the 22nd and, and uh, just enjoy the resource and appreciate uh, you guys for putting it together. Thank Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for coming by us. here today. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Michael, thank, thank you very so much. much. And uh, everybody, again, it's Saturday, October the 22nd at St. Cecilia Health Center, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Check it out. It's going to be well worth it. Thanks so much for tuning in this segment of Cox Connections. We'll see you next time.